Alright, welcome back to Torok, and as you can see, we are still flying. We are going in pursuit of the Juggernaut, a gigantic slag war machine that is a... Wow, yeah. Okay, noise. You know what? This is the last straw. One more time. Okay, yeah, I, I, I apparently lied. Anyway, one more time. One more, and you will regret it. One more. I'm I'm giving you a totally fair warning, and this I'm gonna slow down. Um, I'm giving you totally fair warning. So if you do it again, then you had it coming and you knew it. So all right, yeah. All right. You know what? Hold on. He's pushed me too far. So hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, anyway, I'm back, uh, I hope you guys didn't hear that, because I could go to jail for that, but anyway, um, in the last, wait, no, I've already said what we did in the last part, so, meh, anyway, um, now I'm gonna try to fly under this, holy crap, oh, that's evil, they make you, f if you fly over it, you get hit by the rocks, but if you fly under it, you almost get hit by these rockets, the rocket mins. Anyway, if you want to, you could try to speed through this little, tiny little segment, but again, I just died like a dozen times trying to, so, yeah. Uh, watch out for those steam vents, because they'll shoot steam at you. I don't think I've ever been hit by those rockets before, ever. What is the point of them? I would love to see someone put up a video, or like, I'd just love to see someone actually getting hit by them, because I've never seen it happen. Alright, well anyway, that is all for this chapter, or this segment. Because, and they give you some overdrive here for no reason. I don't know why. Oh, hey, look, they're following the bad guys. So those tub blimp thingies are bad. Anyway, this is the Juggernaut. I have to say, it's quite awesome. Check out that thing. Why are they able to have gigantic dinosaurs carry their weapons for them, huh? Anyway. Okay, here we go. This is inside the Juggernaut. Don't even ask me how we actually got in here, because somehow I think we went in through the wrong end. That's just me, though, but anyway. Um, they're going to start you off with... Crap. Did he see me? Crap, he did. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. That's bad. Now, this is sort of a stealth mission, but it's a really weird stealth, stealth mission. Um... The reason why it's weird is because, um, what happens is, wow, hey, well, at least the noise isn't here to annoy me. Ah, uh -huh, they're like cheering and I burn the other guy alive with your explosion tank. Okay, and we're back this time. Now, this time I don't intend to die like I did last time. Gosh, that was annoying. Anyway, um, what's going to happen is these guys are going to be walking around. If they see you, then... Um, the alarm will go off. Sorry, I was just trying to see if he was near me. They see you, the alarm will go off, and then enemies will spawn until you turn off the alarm. Now, the thing... Now, I have to warn you right now. In the later part of this level, I have no idea where to find all the alarms. So, you're gonna get pretty tired of hearing the thing going, rear, 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 the entire time. So, just giving you a fair warning right now. Anyway, try to sneak past this guy, if you can, and then go on in here. Now, if you don't, if you get spotted, then I think the enemies come out of here. And this is the alarm. If you ever see this, and it's blue, turn it off. Uh, walk up to it and try to hit it, because that is what that is. That is the alarm, and if you can turn it off, that would be amazing. Now... What's challenging about this level is just the fact that you're basically going to be fighting enemies 100% of the time and they will never stop coming for you unless you can find the alarm. Now, that could be beneficial if you think about it the right way. Technically, if you have infinite enemies at, coming at you, you can have infinite chances to find medkits off of them in ammo. But then again, you also have people shooting you, so it's kind of a trade-off. I personally don't like it just because of the alarm constantly going off for the entire mission, but oh well. Now, no matter what, you are going to be spotted. There's no way to kill these guys without the alarm going off, so I don't really know what to tell you. You're just going to have to kill them eventually. You will have to do fighting, obviously, and even if you, like, even if you just... 
Um, even if you just shoot this with a fletchet and throw a spider mine down there, they will still know that you're here. So it's kind of dumb in a way. But anyway. Let's see here. Dang it, come on. That's bull. Alright, well, uh, here, let's uh, spike nade the big guy. Oh, dang it, it missed. Fine then. Uh, yeah, see, look at that. See, they can't even. Yeah, because they can totally see me up in the vent throwing down grenades. Totally. Oh, yeah. They have freaking. They actually have snipers in here, though, so watch out. Um, I'm gonna say your best bet for dealing with it once the enemies start coming for you actively, your best bet would be to use explosive arrows. Just because, you know, you can hit multiple enemies at once. And there's gonna be multiple enemies. And there's gonna be flamethrower guys, too, coming for you, so watch out. Okay, kill you. And then turn him off. As soon as you can, turn it off. And also, whenever you're in here, stay away from the walls. If you walk up against that, it hurts you. So, just keep that in mind. That you will be... If you don't... If you walk up against that thing, it will do damage. Uh... What the heck? Why did he just stop? He just kind of stood there for a second. Okay, here we go. Uh, they're gonna give you a flamethrower right here and health up there and lots of arrows and, a, and they actually give you a tech bow here. I don't know why, but they give you a tech bow. Uh, where do we go now? Um, come on, don't tell me I forgot. I don't think I forgot. Is it over here? No. What the... Well, that's a way to get back into the vents. I know that, obviously. Um, I really remember that being where we need to go. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, um, I think we're coming up here on the time limit. So, uh, I'm going to go back here in the vents, and I will find my way around here, because I apparently lost how... I apparently lost my sense of direction here, and I don't know where the frick to go, so... Yeah. Um... No matter what, if you drop from right there, you're going to take damage. Dang, what am I doing? I'm just wasting time here. I'm trying to figure out how to get this freaking door open. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Um, I still got a little bit of time left. Let's just do this. Okay, um, now once you get in here, this is where it gets hard. Because this level is really hard because, you know, we have to get in here and disable the big giant cannons, you know, that were on the sides of the big thing. So, we have to spend the, the entire portion of this chapter doing that. I think this... All of this chapter is contained in this one level. So if you die once, you have to start all the way over again from the beginning. Remember when we were avoiding the big guy and we opened that console? Or we used that console to open the door? We have to go all the way back there. So try not to die because you will instantly regret it for the rest of your life. Alright, so anyway. Um, in case you're wondering, if I do die, I will cut back to right where I was or even a little bit farther if I must. Crap, 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 no, no, rockets. Oh, I think you actually don't have a rocket launcher anymore. Wait a minute, I think those guys are immune to fire, crap. Uh, minigun, they are not immune to bullets. Not to lots of bullets. In fact, they are very weak to bullets. Dang it, just stop moving around and die, gosh. I'm still already starting to get annoyed at this level. This is the one I'm really personally dreading the most, just because it's evil. This is where I always get, and then the alarm stays on for the rest of the chapter, so just expect to be annoyed by the, you know, the sound. Anyway, I do know where the, the alarms are, though. They're right over here. There's one there, and uh, there's one on the other side of the room, and there's also one in that big circular area, but that's about it. That's... Wow, he just got burned at his own freaking thing. That's pathetic. Anyway, here's the other one. Um, well, that one's not going off. Hey, did it stop? Wow, I think the old... Oh, never mind. Screw that. All right, well, anyway, um, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to pause it, and I will see you in the next part where we continue through this abysmal chapter. So I'll see you then.